So I got this big peeler tool because there's some tape that's been on the boat for years and it won't peel off the normal way. You have to grind it off. And the peeler is a pretty heavy tool so I can really only hold it up for so long before I have to take a break. And I usually find little things to do around the boat for a few minutes to let my arms rest and then I can get back to the peeler. Rich has sanded pretty much the entire boat and I have peeled this tape and done a little bit of work on one of the sugar scoops. So that's about how that goes. I said that I wanted to bolt two by sixes along the side of the boat where the hull meets the deck as a bumper because the rub rail had been removed. And we didn't have any scaffolding by the boat, so I used my car instead. And it's a little bit more convenient when you need to move the scaffolding because it's self-propelled. And that took care of that line of tape. So Rich has sanded the whole side of the boat. And I'm going by with a brush and knocking most of the dust off. And then I'll do another final cleaning with acetone to get any fingerprints or grease and the last of the dust off of there. And this isn't paint that I'm rolling on the boat. It's gel coat. And it'll make a much thicker protective coating than paint. And I put some on and then I go back and I roll over it very lightly a few times. And I'll put a little bit more on and then I'll go back and go over it lightly a few times. It's called tipping. And it leaves a very consistent orange peel texture rather than being able to see, you know, the edge of where the roller went and stuff. So, after covering the whole boat with gel coat, I wait for it to harden and then I'm going to come back and do it again a couple of times. And the final time, there will be some wax mixed in with the gel coat. There's hardener mixed in every time. And it will get hard, but it's still reactive. If you wipe it with acetone, it'll get tacky again, even if it's been on there for weeks and weeks. And you can roll more layers on, like, like polyester laminating resin. It'll make a chemical bond to the next layer. And when you're finally finished and you're doing the very last layer of gel coat, you put the wax in and it, it doesn't allow the oxygen to get to it. And then it will fully harden. And if you put acetone on after that, it will not get tacky and it will not form a chemical bond and you'll have to sand it really coarse if you want to you know lay more layers on because at that point you have to just make a lock and key bond like like epoxy or something <laughs>